What's up everybody, Orgai Allgator here, and today I'm looking at a game called Verdun. It's a World War I shooter, and you don't get to see a lot of those. It's $18.99 right now on Steam, and it's in early access, and they let you know that when you start the game. But anyways, let's get into it. Two types of game mode. Rifle Deathmatch, which is a free-for-all, and Front Lines, which is mostly everybody plays. It's like a point cap squad base thing. So here on front lines, you can see the overall map, and on the map, there's four different maps here on these little trench areas, because uh, it's between the German and the French lines in World War I. And you can see the squads on the map, too, and you can tool over them and see what they're listed. You can also click on it and join a random squad if you don't want to pick, but you can pick down the line here, and they'll show you what everybody is. So there's four variants of the squads, and I'll show you them real quick here so you know what you're getting into. you got the French side and the German side here. The French are the target sign, and the Germans are the cross. So you have the Chaucer Alpens and the Alpen Jaegers, which I just both call Alpens. And the Alpens have the same types of classes in them. And these classes determine your gun. They have the Guide, um, the Sharpshooter Guy, Observer, and a Bayonet. They all start out with the same rifle, but they level up and they get different things. The Bayonet Guy obviously gets bayonets, and he's good for close-range fighting. The Observer has binoculars. This guy just, I don't really know what he gets. And then the guide is the officer who gets to call the shots. Then the Polis and the Lancers are the same, but they get, like, the more serious weapons. They have a officer, they have a fusiler, which is, or a shoots, which is usually, which is the sniper class. The MG, which is obviously the machine gun guy, and the grenader gets the grenades. Um, I usually like to play this because I think the weapons are better. Plus... Um, these classes have different starting rifles for everybody than these classes do. So, uh, we'll just find a class that's one of those guys and jump in here. And I'm gonna join as the Grenader, I suppose. So, see if I can, uh, swap in. So here we are on the lines. Um, and there's... The map's divided into basically sections. Uh, you have the trench lines, as you can see on the map, are in the green outlined areas that I'm running in. And then there's no man's land out there. And uh, we have to cross no man's land to get to the other lines to capture them. As you can see out there, it says attack German first line. So um, the trenches are called particular things. Even though that's the German first line, the French have it captured right now. And we are trying to take our line back. I just took a bullet hit right there because it winged me, but normally all shots are one-hit kills. And it's it's an interesting thing, and it can also be frustrating at times. It's interesting because it brings this sense of vulnerability uh, when you're playing the game. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, fucked up. Okay, where are you at? I just fucking saw him. Alright, we're gonna jump in the trench here. But, um, like I was saying, it brings a sense of vulnerability when you're out in no man's land because you can just get cut down so easily. But it's also kind of frustrating, too, because sometimes you can't really tell, um, where you get shot from or where you die. But, see, I hit that guy and he hit me. We didn't die because we winged each other. But usually if you get a body shot, it's game over. Like that. Oh, yeah. I gave him too much time to line up. But that's, that's how it goes in this game. And uh, I, I, th I think it's good within the context of this game. The uh, pretty much everything's a one-shot kill, except for the pistols. Uh, but grenades, mortars, mostly body shots with all rifles. Obviously, machine guns are. Um, so overall, I think in this game there's probably about maybe five rifles. They're all bolt action, but they, they have different ammo types. Um, and then there's the two machine guns, one for France, one for uh, Germany, and then there's the two pistols and grenades. Uh, but I'm going to explain what just happened there. So, you saw me run out before and there was no problem, but when I ran out there it said I had to get back in or I was going to die. Uh, that's because now, before, it said that we had to attack, and now if you look around, I'm trying to find it, it will say it's somewhere around here. Well, whatever. Uh, anyways, what happens is, um, at different points, your commander will tell you to either attack the line 
or hold the line. See, it just, it just said defend deep German second line right there. So we're on defense right now. We can't run out or we're going to be executed for being deserters. So we have to stay on this line and defend it and hold off their advance because they're attacking now. So basically you get turns to attack and defend and that's kind of how it goes. Um, usually after a cap there will be a defense and usually after a unsuccessful attack there will be a defense as well. And that's... Oh, got hit by a grenade. That's how it goes. So um, the boundaries will change constantly. Also, the further you move up, the more space you have to move around, obviously. And uh, it just works like that. And you're trying to cap bases back and forth, and it counts as many caps as you get. As you see over the mini-map, there's the circle cross and the target sign for the French. And um, there is a 0-0 zero, zero and a 3-0. I don't know what the one in the parentheses means, but the 3 is the number of caps. The French have 3 caps, and we have 0. So they are beating us right now. And, uh... It's kind of how it is. It's kind of how this game goes. Oh, can't go out that far. Yeah. The boundaries are a little weird sometimes, and, uh... Sometimes the animations are a little janky, but, like, other than that, it's a pretty solid shooter. Um... Ooh, that guy just got fucking destroyed. Well, he was standing up in the middle of nowhere, so... I gotta find a good place that I can just... Oh, there was a guy right there. I don't have time to get him. No, I gotta back up. Oh, there he is again. And he, I don't know how he got me, but he got me. So, um, I mean, that's pretty much Verdun in a nutshell. Um, I find it really fun. I've got some extra footage of me just, like, getting some long shots and doing some cool rushes. Um, and I'll show you that at the end of this. But yeah, um, so far I've been having a, a good time with it. It's a really interesting game because there's not... I don't think there's like any World War One shooters, really. At least competitive. There's a guy down. Um, ooh. Ah, damn. Um, yeah, there's like no like multiplayer World War One games. Or at least there's not that many. And I, I think this one's pretty good for what you're getting. Uh, so if you're looking for something interesting or you like games like Red Orchestra, I would say pick this up. It's a little more arcadey than Red Orchestra. Because you obviously have the mini-map and, like, um, the aim reticule and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm having a good time with it. Um, it's different, so keeps me going. And uh, before I go, I'll show you the class level-up stuff. Because I have a feeling some people are going to see it and be like, what the fuck? So basically, in uh, these different things, you, you all have the same. And you can view the different stuff. And you can switch between... You can also request a switch if somebody's in the slot. you got to switch with them. So basically you have your commander, and uh, your commander has binoculars um, and a pistol, and then if you upgrade him at level 30, you get a grenade and a pistol, and it, it, it's different between the French and the Germans. And this is the sniper guy. Eventually he'll get a scope for his gun. Um, this is the machine gunner. He'll eventually get a machine gunner and then a pistol with a machine gun. And then this guy gets bayonets and uh, grenades because he's kind of like a close-range fighter. But this game has a really nice mix of, like, close quarters combat with that long-range combat. So, if you're really, if you're that guy who loves to, like, run around with a shotgun and just, like, blast people away in close quarters and, like, like knife people and stuff like that, you're gonna, you're gonna have fun in this game, especially during the defense rounds. But then again, if you're, like, a guy who loves to snipe in games, you're gonna have fun with this game also during the defense and attack rounds. So, um... This game has a nice blend of that between different points. And there's some really great moments. Like when you're defending a line and they're just jumping over the sides and your team's working together and they're like, the right's breached! And stuff like that. Like it's it's freaking awesome at times. I've had some really cool moments and I've only been playing this game for maybe about two hours or something. So um, yeah, this is Verdun, as I've said a couple times. And uh, yeah, just uh, check it out. Maybe based on this video, decide for yourself. 1899 is the game in beta, um, early access, so they are adding more to it. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you some cool clips, and uh, that'll be it, guys. Our guy, I'll get here, and I'm uh, I'm signing off. see them faintly in the distance also scout planes go overhead oh there's a guy there yeah got him oh yeah 
Saw that one. Alright, uh, here's a section of me on, uh, trench defense. And I'm moving up to the area where the line was breached. Uh, so we head up over here, and I kill one of the German guys, but then one runs right past me. Doesn't bayonet me, shoot me, or anything, and then my teammate gets him. And it really just baffled me. Uh, here's a really cool scene where we're moving forward, and, uh, I dodge a whole bunch of mortar shots by just luck. And we're pushing onto the line more. But, um, I get hit once by a mortar from the back, and then unfortunately I get taken out. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter for updates and when I go streaming. Also join my Steam group for all kinds of events I'm going to host. Even if you didn't like the video, go ahead and subscribe, because there'll probably be a better one next week. Thanks everyone!